Let me tell you a little about this gentleman, because I know most of you know. He's a community leader. He's the top 100 Mavericks in business, and he's an influencer in the greater state of Texas. Also uh, mentored a lot of young people, especially those who are incarcerated. He's a man of faith. Uh, his birthday is May 13th. <laughs> we ain't going to detail his birthday. And I want to thank him to come back today. And we're going to sit back and take notes on, on what he's going to share with us today. So make sure you got your notepads ready to go. Without further ado, the great, the one and only, uh, Mr. Dwight Williams. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Good. I hope you're. I hope you're as blessed as I am. I just. I just hope so. It's gonna be hard to be, but I mean, I'm just saying. At least you could give it a try. <laughs> so I am. Uh, but I am blessed. I am. I am so glad to be here this morning. This is what I. I this is what I love doing. Um, as Mr. Thomas can attest, I mean, w once you've. Uh, I'm not suggesting that. I'm satisfied in my achievement, but once you've gotten some things in life done, what you really want to do is help other people do better. That, that's really what you really want to do. I want to see people go further and, and just be able to just watch, you know, it's a, it's a really good thing. So the little things that we learn along the way, if we can give it to other people faster or earlier, uh, they can just do really great things. And it, it's, it's really, it, it, and that's what that I guess that's what the that's why I see this as really a privilege. And so that's why I tell Mr. Thomas every time I get on here, I just want to just say thank you, man. I just really do because leader in his own right, he he could he could do this every day, all day, and be have a new subject every single time. He's had so many experiences in his life. So uh with that said, Mr. Thomas, thank you again. It is a privilege to speak to you guys today. And I hope everybody is as blessed as I am this morning as we uh, as we get together because I am blessed and uh, and I am thankful for that and grateful for it. Uh, as I said, grateful uh, gratefulness is the currency of success. And so you'll notice that people that are that at, that have achieved uh, some level of success there, in most cases they realize it didn't really have a lot to do with them. That's just things happen that were beyond them. And so it causes you to just be grateful to say to yourself, why me? But you know, I ain't gonna ask that question too many times. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> I'm just gonna say thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's that's where I'm at. So today, um, let's talk. Um, um and you know, faith, belief, you know, the the I, I know we got a lot of uh, mentors and, and great people. The, the my the greatest leader that on the planet that I know is 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 uh, God through Jesus Christ, and so that's why I, the Bible is my favorite book. I love I, I love that Bible that book because I, every time you read it, you learn something new, and so uh, I spend a lot of time reading it and studying it and just understanding and then looking at my life to see where I fit, and so um, Mr. Thomas has really uh, focused. Uh, uh, in on the business, building, people reaching success. And I understand that. Um, don't get me wrong. Motivation and, and personal development is crucial to you because if you have to become the person that's going to lead a, a group of people, you have to become that person. Uh, I was talking to a, a, a group earlier and I was telling them the power of personal development is that each time you grow personally as a person, it, most people say, uh, is it attraction? How does it do that? And, we, and, and so we, we, we become hunters and we hunt people and we chase them and, 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 and try to get them in our businesses. And it's, it's not the way to build a sustainable business. The way we build a sustainable business is we become a person that elevates us to an audience, surrounds us by an audience of individuals who are moving in the same direction. And when we do that, we find ourselves surrounded by people who are like-minded, thinking like us. And then they're saying, what are you doing? Well, what are you doing? And what, next thing you know, I think I wanna do what you do. And then you continue to develop and you find yourself in a new audience 
of people that have reached that place. But a lot of the people that were that you discovered in the previous audience, they say, hey, I want to go with this guy. <laughs> and they, and they, they begin to develop themselves. This is how we find leaders in our organization. But we discover those leaders by two things, by continuing to elevate our way of thinking and to continue to develop ourselves to become more attractive to where we attract people to us. Now, I talk about thinking and personal development and knowledge and, uh, uh, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna talk to you about today is, is the, the business of your business. Um, knowledge of our business and what we do, the industry and all of that is crucial. Um, the various strategies that Mr. Thomas and you guys discuss on a regular basis, how to deal with objections. Uh, uh, the mindset of dealing with objections is everything because, you, you, because I can tell you, if you're not developed to a certain level, you get enough no's, it'll take you out the game. People tell you no enough times, it'll pull you right out the game. But so that means your mind has to be developed. You have to be committed to the thing that you say you're gonna do. You better know that thing up front. Your why better be very, very clear. And because if it is not, you can get distracted easily. Why? Because people are gonna say that thing is never gonna work. Never gonna work. They're gonna tell you no. <laughs> the, the people that I, I, I've told this story before. Here's the craziest thing for me. The people that told me no in the first, uh, in, in the beginning, were the people closest to me, but not just closest to me. It was the people I had done the most for. My background is business. And, um, and I had decided to train and develop a lot of people. I don't know if many of you know this story. So I had pulled people out of my family, out of my church home, out of my community that barely had a high school education in a lot of cases, some had a little college. I personally trained and developed these people and created freedom and wealth for a lot of them. And when I got into the business and not, and forget asking them to join with me, just support, most didn't. I'm telling you, most of them didn't. And, uh, and, and for, so forget joining, they didn't even support the business. And so, my, if my mindset, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not going to sit here and say I just got this perfect mindset and I was 100% developed. It took me some time to process and I had to go get information to help me understand, hey man, just because you've achieved this level of success <laughs> doesn't mean you prepare for this right here. So you're going to have to develop to this next level. And that's what I began to do. And how did I do it? I began to, and you, I'm going to tell you guys, a lot of things that happen in this industry are divine. One of the things that helped me in this industry is I met a young man who had had years of experience in this industry that I really looked up to, had a real estate background and was a leader in this industry. And he decided to connect with somebody like me. <laughs> now, granted, he didn't know my discipline. My background was in uh, software engineering. I was a software developer. I run companies and had people that work for me. That didn't mean anything to him. This guy was a maverick. He was, he was building teams and building this organization. But Mr. Thomas took the time and kind of groomed me and stayed connected. Now, that's the craziest thing. <laughs> he would call you randomly and follow up, say, hey, how's it going? But I will tell you this much. Every time I went to an international, he would take the time to sit down and talk, even to the point where he would say, hey, listen, you, you, you ate something? You, 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 you hungry? <laughs> and we and we and we go and eat. And he doesn't he doesn't lecture you. He never did he never did any of that. But what he does do is he talks about the things that he knows he can look at you and tell the things that the challenges that you're facing. He can talk you through those things and say, so how's the bill business coming? Oh uh, well it's coming. Oh well it's coming. You thinking about quitting? <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not thinking about quitting. <laughs> okay, good. That's that's step number one. You passed the first test. <laughs> And so to have gentlemen and individuals like that, that are surrounded by you is crucial. And these things happen divine. So uh, I want to say to you guys that are on this call this morning to have to, to be attached to Mr. Thomas, uh, Ms. Ismail, Ms., uh, Mr. Lewis, Ms. Driscoll, leaders like that of that caliber 
is divine and they have the ability to, to help move your business forward. Stay connected. The meetings, they're important. Uh, it, because if, if every time you come away, you learn one thing, that's more than 95% of people on this planet. Most people spend days without gaining any additional knowledge. So <clears throat> I, I know my, that, that clock is ticking and it's ticking fast. So let's, <laughs> let's dive in. So I talked about knowledge and understanding. I want to ask you guys a question. And, and I, I, I want you to think quickly. If I asked you, how much do you know about the comp plan? What would you tell me? When you bring a new person into the business, the faster, and this is from the leaders, the faster you get that person to a milestone, the greater the chance of success. And the, and the key here is, is it takes, it, anybody can complicate a thing. It takes a genius to make something simple. And the only way you're gonna make this business simple to a new person, is you better know how to get them to where they need to go. Know their language, understand how to communicate with them. Uh, know that the guy that, that is excited that I'm talking to right now, if I say ETL to him enough times, he's not gonna understand what I'm talking about until I take the time to help him understand. So I need to, if I'm the leader, I need to understand the language that he understands. And if that language is, I need 500 bucks, my focus has got to be getting him to the milestone while focus on his goal, which is the 500 bucks. So I, so I'm, let me ask you guys a question. And when, when I look at the comp plan, I look at services. What would you say is the number one service in the comp plan? Now, I'm, 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 I'm just watching and I'm just talking and I'm thinking. Some of us say, and because we have a lot of services. So where do you focus? Uh, because I'm looking, I'm always looking for something I call low hanging fruit. <clears throat> There are some services in, that, in, in, in our businesses that are the low hanging fruit of the business. Why electricity is such a popular service? Because I can almost sign electricity up without a thought. Something I want you to know. I don't know if you know this, but I think Mr. Thomas, correct me if I'm not correct. I think monthly the leadership le releases a report that tells us the markets that have the greatest opportunities for electricity, for energy. And they tell us where to go. We have to have knowledge of the business that we're in. Why? Because these are the tools that you can use. Now, you don't believe me? There are teams and organizations in ACN that are killing it. You know how they're killing it? They're killing it because they're using these tools and techniques to build their business. They know what energy markets to go in. Why? Because the company tells you what ones to go into. Why, Why ID Seal? The number of points. Why Vivint? Now, Vivint is the killer for me. Why? All I got to do is get somebody on the phone with a Vivint rep. That's all I got to do. My job is simply to make a connection. If I can connect that person to a Vivint rep, Vivint does the rest for me. Why do we complicate things? Oh, and by the way, eight points. Just because I'm, on the, I'm, I'm only talking points with you because I'm on a leadership call. It gives me eight points. Mr. Lewis, last week, went over the comp plan for the whole group. How many of us paid attention? How many of us paid attention to the bonuses? Because it's these things that we use to simplify the process for a new person. I'm not gonna talk to that guy about being an ETL or an RD. Why? I just, I'm barely, I'm filling out his app. <laughs> I'm filling out his app right now. I'm gonna be, while I'm filling out his app, say, hey man, what's your goal? Well, young lady, what's your, what's your goal? What's your plan? What you wanna get? What, what do we need to get for you in the next 48 hours, next 24 hours, next four days, next five days? Hey, can you help me get a thousand? Absolutely. Uh, you can, I, I absolutely can. No, uh, uh, can I? <laughs> and then they say, so uh, then how do I do it? That's all I need to hear them say. What do I need to do to reach my goal? Because it's with them, isn't it? What's in it for me? And long as I focus on what's in it for me and I understand the business at a level that I can connect those two things, it takes a genius to simplify anything. If I can keep it simple. Now, I was saying vivid. Eight points. 
But is Viv if is eight points the only reason Vivian is such a big deal to me? You know why Vivian is such a big deal to me? Because the average ACN Vivian account, now specifically the average ACN Vivian account is 10 years of residual income. Did you know electricity is 40% uh, commissionable? 40%. But Vivian is 85% commissionable and I get a check 120 times. On the average account, I sign up in ACN. See, these are the things that I'm always studying and paying attention to. Electricity, because it's so easy to sign up, definitely in markets that don't require down payments and credit checks. I can flip people just that quick in those markets. Well, how do I know what those markets are? ACN tells us every month the primary markets and what the requirements to get people in those businesses every month. So these are the tools and techniques that we have to master in this business if you're gonna move it very quickly. Um, these are the things that I learned from leaders like Mr. Tom. These are all, these are, these are just techniques that I use to build a business. How did we get to RD the way at the pace that we did? We did these things. How, how are we going to get to SVP? We're going to do more of these things. And that's just the bottom line. Um, study the plans. Become a master of the business of this business. If you can master this business, uh, if you think about this business and compare it to any other type of, for me, any industry, actually, corporate America, um, um, even uh, affiliate marketing, any of these, nothing compares to this. And the reason nothing compares, it's the only business that will give me complete freedom, really, truly freedom. It's the only, in addition to that freedom, I do it with leverage. And the leverage that I gain is helping other people get the same thing. And I do it with Fortune 500 and Fortune 1000 company products and services. So I'm not using some product or company that nobody's heard of people. So when I walk up to a person that's got a cell phone and I'm talking about Verizon and AT&T and T-Mobile, they know those, those brands. When I'm talking to them about the energy mark companies in my market, because I'm, I'm still using CenterPoint. It's just you're signing up with my retailer. When I'm able to have those kinds of conversations, Vivid, they see Vivid trucks with the orange signs on them all over the place. So when I say Vivid, they're familiar. And so when people realize, when I can say to you, you're going to, I'm making money on the same brands that you see every single day in commercials, advertising and trucks and cars, driving on freeways and all of that. These are the things you see everywhere. Well, while you go to work, working for these companies, I'm making money on your labor. So with that, turning it back over to you, Mr. Thomas.